Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Face the Music. Glad that you're here today. Hey, excited about today because today going to be featuring Judas Priest. Haven't had these guys out here on the channel for a minute, but let me say there's a lot of uh, good songs that I really like from Judas Priest. And here's a performance that many of you may have missed. You may not have. If you're a Judas Priest fan, you probably didn't. But, um, you know, one thing that really uh, caught my attention on this is because this is a performance from their, uh, I think it was 2022 a Rock Hall of Fame induction performance, and they did a few of their songs, and one of these was this song that we're featuring today, Breaking the Law, and I think the thing that I really, really like about it is just the fact that, hey, you know, when you consider how old Rob Halford is at this point, and, you know, even all the rest of the musicians, it's amazing how good they sounded at that at that uh, performance, but, you know, don't take my word for it. Let's check it out together. Here we go. This is Judas Priest live at their 2022 Rock Hall of Fame induction ceremony and their performance of Breaking the Law. Rob Halford, Ian Hill, Glenn Tipton, Dave Holland, mm. Scott Travis, K.K. Downing, and Les Binks, I am honored to say to you, welcome to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Musically, they still sound as good as they did way back when, right? KK Downing, wow. Hmm. And it's good to see Glenn Tipton on stage, too. And of course, all the other members, former members, current members. Hmm. Judas Priest live at their 2022 Rock Hall of Fame induction ceremony. That was their performance of Breaking the Law. Great song. And I remember that song from way back when, as most of you guys probably do as well. And, I mean, let me just say this. And the reason that I featured this performance on, there is another one that I want to feature uh, down the road here on this channel of uh, from 1983, them performing the same song. Uh, and it's obviously 1983. They're all a lot younger. It's kind of more in their, you know, in their prime. Um, but just to see this... You know, um, to see them out there on stage at their ages at that point in time in 2022, so just two years ago. And like I said, I think that he was 71 or 72, Rob Halford, I think he was 71. Not 100% sure. I think he was 71 years old, though, um, you know, during this performance. I mean, 71, and he's hitting those notes. He's doing, he's just all over the stage, just like he was back, you know, 30, 40 years ago. And the same thing with all the rest of the guys. Just fantastic. That's why I wanted to feature this performance because, you know, there's a lot of bands out there, a lot of artists, a lot of times, you know, um, you know, they, they get, you know, way past their prime, right? You know, years and years and years after, like, you know, hit songs, hit records, whatever, and they're out there still touring, they're still out there on stage doing their thing. And a lot of times, you know, there's artists out there that you, you see them, you hear them, and you're like, 
Um, you know, that's just, you, you know, you guys are really way past your prime. You can't hit those notes anymore. You can't really move around and you're, they're just kind of standing there a lot older. And I get it. I mean, it's, it's age, right? But you're like, maybe you guys should think about just doing something different. Just, you know, retire, take the money you've made and just retire somewhere comfortably. Don't do this touring thing anymore because you're making it even worse. Um, that's not the case with these guys. I'm telling you, I know they're out there on, st- uh, out on tour right now. I think they're out there on, on tour. I saw with Saxon and Uriah Heap. I mean, come on. That has got to be a great, great show. Judas Priest, Saxon, and Uriah Heap. Mm. Wow. But anyways, you know, getting back to this. Uh, but this this was not a performance where I watched that and said, yeah, these guys are way, way past their prime. They probably shouldn't even be out there on stage. And if I remember, that, I know they did um, uh, the Green Man Alicia with the Two-Prong Crown, I think, was also in their performance here. And also, I think they also did You've Got Another Thing Coming. I'm pretty sure they did You've Got Another Thing Coming. That's a great song, too. And their performances on all of them just spot on, just spot on. Obviously, you know, there's there's a little bit of the vocals that, you know, you can tell that Rob's, you know, it's it's a, it's not as easy for him to hit some of those notes as it was back 30, 40, 45, 50 years ago, whatever. But let me just tell you, he is still, there's a reason why they call him the metal god. I'm telling you, because he knows how to, to fire up an audience, but he can still hit those notes right now. And he's still all into it. The passion he holds for his genre is pretty much unmatched among anything I've ever seen. So anyways, really, really enjoyed that, and I hope that you did as well. Okay, well, that's it for today's episode. If you're not a subscriber, join this channel. Let's make let's keep all this great music alive together, just like that song right there. Uh, also, uh, you know, check down below. I have a hashtag, Face the Music Reactions. If you click on that, it'll redirect you to another page. You'll find all my previous content there and other playlists and so forth. I'm sure you'll find other things, other content that you'll enjoy as well. Come on back because I've got a lot more great content lined up for you. I'll see you next time right here on Face the Music. Take care.